Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this mirror fun fold card. It's mirrored on opposite sides and it's got these cute little origami things. It's a different slant on a card and literally it's a slant. I'd seen it made with cardstock, but because of the restrictions of the usual eight and a half by 11, it was a little bit narrow and it had a belly band. And I thought, oh, I wonder if we did it with designer series paper, if we could make it be a full card size. And because 12 divides by three conveniently into four, it fits a standard card base. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half, and then the base sits on it. So let me get started. We're going to be using all the in colors today, and also we'll be using the designer series paper, The Unbounded Love. That's what this paper came from, which coordinates with everything. So we'll start with a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock, and it's cut down to five and a quarter by 12 and then I've scored it at four inches at each way across so I'm just going to go ahead and fold on the score lines and because of the nature of it needing to go backwards and forwards on itself I'm actually just going to fold back and forth on each every time I make a score line I'll, you'll see me go backwards and forwards on each one so then what we need to do is we need to measure down two inches on the first side and measure up two inches on the second score line and that's really more or less the mechanism of the whole thing so we're going to come down two inches on this side but i am going to flip it over and put the pencil mark on the other side just for aesthetics reasons so we'll come to here and we'll go two inches and put a little pencil mark and then up from the bottom, which of course is down from the top on the other side, we'll do a little two inch pencil mark. And then 12 by 12 is great. And the Stampin' Up! paper cutter, of course, manages 12 by 12 cardstock when it's cutting it, but not so much when you're trying to score it. There's a risk that the bottom end, when you've got it in the, the cutter, can get a little bit mangled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my take your pick tool and I've popped the stylus attachment in and I'm just going to run that down where I want the score lines to be. So I'm going to go from the pencil mark to the corner. I'll just give that two gentle scores and then go from the pencil mark to the next score mark we made. And then we'll repeat that process on the other side. So we'll go from the corner to the two inch mark that we made. Oops, don't really want it to move. And then from the pencil mark down to the other score mark. There we go, now we've got two triangles so when we flip it back over to the front side we've got score line so I'm just going to fold this carefully on the score lines that we made because we don't want them we only want them to score as far as they go of course sometimes because it's been done manually you just need to give it a little tweak to make sure it falls into the right place. And then on this one, we'll fold it the same. And up to the other score line. And just make sure that it lies flat. So now we've got the pieces. So this one falls out, this one actually falls in. So this is why I said it sometimes have to just give them a little mark. So now that we've got them all in the right place, we can give them a good press. And then what I'm going to do is actually attach this to the piece of four and a quarter by five and a half cardstock, the Summer Splash, which is one of the colours. So we'll put some, oops, put 
some rolling adhesive on there. You can use your Tombow liquid glue, of course, whatever your favorite adhesive is, and we'll just attach that to there like that. And then we need an inside piece. So we need to cut it with the same sort of angle. So I'm gonna bring the paper trimmer back in and I have a piece of Pretty in Pink and this is three and three quarters by five. And what I'm going to do, oh, it's alive, is measure down two inches the top and on the bottom two inches up and then what we need to do is put them into the paper trimmer and line up from the pencil mark down to the point of the paper and then you can lay it in the trough and then you can make sure that you've whoops that you can see them clearly so cut that side off and then we'll Repeat the process, we'll put the little pencil mark in the trough and go down to the point. And when you're doing something like this, it's always best to start on a flat edge. If you try and start on a point, there's a chance you can like crumple it up. The other alternative, if you had two points, would be to just go a little bit further in and go up and then come back and finish on the point. But the advice being try not to start on a point so there we've got a nice piece of appropriately angled pretty in pink and that's going to go on the inside in between all the score lines so we'll just go ahead actually i'm going to bring in my silicon mat because there's a lot of points here and if i fall off the point chances are i could get some adhesive on my work surface and then be sticking everything to myself and the silicon mat is very good for helping to avoid that so we'll just pop this into the area where it goes and there's a little border all around Oops. and then it closes like that and then what we need to do is build the greeting on the front so i've got two little pieces of scrap paper basically and we'll bring in all the stamps that we need so i'm going to be using the summer splash ink the petunia pop and pretty in pink and i've got a little bit of scratch paper because we're going to cut off stamp off so we get the same color in a double layer so we'll take the pretty and pink the outline of the flower and do that in full strength and then we'll take the inside of the flower and stamp it off once on a piece of scratch paper and then when we stamp it into place you get the lighter refrain of the color so that's the pretty and pink done and then we'll get the petunia pop and we're just going to put a little stamen on the inside and while i've got this color out what i did was i went ahead and using nested essentials i cut out one in summer splash and one a little bit smaller in the basic white so while I, like I say, while I've got the Petunia Pop ink out, I took two greetings and popped them side by side. And it just says, hello friend. And I got those from the new Unbounded Love. There's the friend and hello is somewhere. Hello. And then because they go onto acrylic blocks, you can build the greeting that you want. So hello friend, while we have the Petunia Pop ink out and then what we need to do is we need to build the leaves so again we'll do the same stamping off technique so we'll put the leaves full strength and then we'll take the inside one 
stamp it off onto a scratch of paper and then when we stamp it you just get a lighter refrain that fills it in so that's all the stamping done so i can pop close the inks and pop those out of the way and then what we need to do is we need to run these through the die cutting machine so using the flowers of beauty dies i used the flower and i used the leaves and by the power of youtube and television and blue peter here are two i made earlier so we can just pop those out of the way so now that we've got the front section all built what we need to do is attach the flat the leaves behind the flowers and i found if i put just a little tick of adhesive on there I could make that be a set. Oops. And then I can pop the layer on to itself. And then we're going to use some dimensionals to attach these. So we'll put one there, one where the leaves are, we'd like them to stay put behind and we can attach them, quickly peel the backing paper off and then attach those to the back. And then last but not least, we need to bring the card back in, pop some rolling adhesive onto there and stick it on the front. And there you have it, snap two cards the same. I think it's quite a fun little like it's almost like a pop out there's nothing attached to it of course but it's still rather a fun card and there's plenty space for writing so that's a good thing if you like what you've seen please consider subscribing give me a thumbs up they always go down well if you've got a question or you want to pass a comment please pop them in the description box below let me just move my camera so you can actually see what it says all the directions and the dimensions will be on my blog. So if you want to pop over there, I also have a template of the actual where to cut it and the measurements just in plain basic white. So I'll pop that on as well and I'll have written on it with a Sharpie marker so you can see what cuts and where it goes. And anything else that you would like to know about this card, please just feel free to ask me. And last but not least, thanks so much for watching.